We Idahoans love to hunt and to fish. In fact, a recent statewide survey shows that in the last couple of years, half of Idaho's adult population went fishing and one third went hunting. But in today's fast paced world, making time for hunting and fishing can be challenging. Most of us are busy making a living and many of us are raising very busy kids and grandkids, meaning we don't always buy our annual licenses. But your license fees fund much of what Fish and Game does. License dollars pay for the conservation officers who patrol our state. Thank you, sir. License dollars pay for the fish hatcheries that raise our catchable trout. License dollars also help pay the high cost of aerial big game surveys, an essential tool to estimate populations and to set seasons. Since the last resident license fee increase a decade ago, fish and game operational costs have increased 22% because of inflation. For instance, the cost of fish food for hatcheries has increased 175%, forcing an 18% cut in resident hatchery production statewide. Without an increase in license revenue, Fish and Game may have to make more cuts starting in 2015, and this could affect popular put-and-take fisheries. But these are tough times for Idahoans, too. That is why Fish and Game is taking a new approach to a standard resident fee increase, a concept that would give hunters and anglers an opportunity to exempt themselves from higher proposed fees by simply buying annual hunting and fishing licenses every year. Ooh, there's a nice one. A concept we call the Fish and Game Price Lock. You're locked in. Your price is locked at current prices. And if there's any sort of fee increase in the near future, you're exempted from that because you're buying your license every year and thus you're contributing to important stable revenue to take care of our resources. Here's how the price lock concept would work. Fish and Game will present a proposal to the Idaho legislature to increase the price for most resident licenses, tags, and permits between one and six dollars starting in 2016. If the legislature and the governor approve the resident fee increase, the Fish and Game Commission could then create a price lock for Idahoans who consistently buy annual licenses. And who would be eligible? Idahoans with a valid annual license in 2015, including annual hunting, fishing, and trapping licenses, lifetime licenses, sportsman's packages, and valid three-year licenses. For the price of a hunting license, you can have price lock and be locked in as long as you continue to buy each year. And it's not only your hunting license, then everything else that you were to purchase would also be locked. Your so your deer seven. tag, your salmon and steelhead permit, your two pole permit, all of those that are proposed for fee increases for residents would be locked. Oh, just, oh. Under the price lock concept, the fee increase, if approved, wouldn't take effect until 2016 licenses go on sale, giving Idahoans many months to decide whether to buy a license and become eligible for the price lock. In at least three years, the Fish and Game Commission would review the price lock and decide if it is working and whether to continue it. The goal of the price lock isn't to put more hunters, anglers, and trappers in the field, but to encourage more people who already purchase licenses to purchase every year, to support important activities, to manage fish and wildlife. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Whether they go in the field or not. It is an incentive. It's a motivator. We have many, many hunters and anglers who are already motivated. They buy every year. But that's still a relatively small proportion of the total number of people who at some time, say over the last three to five years, have purchased a hunting or fishing license. If we could have them purchase more consistently every year, they'd lock in, price lock, and provide such important revenue to take care of the resources that they so value. The price lock concept is unique to Idaho, and the early reviews from Idahoans seems positive. We've had a lot of feedback that this concept makes sense, so we're gonna try it, but it's an experiment, it's innovation, and we can't point to any model out there to tell us how it's going to turn out. That's uh, what we call a raghorn bowl. 
we're at an important crossroads relative to license revenue and we think it is worth a try. Anytime you try something new, that's a risk, that's change, um, and it's gonna take a partnership with our hunters, our anglers, our trappers. It's gonna take a partnership with our governor, our legislature, and the citizens of Idaho. See how this turns out. As more price lock information is developed, it will be posted to the Fish and Game website. Please visit the website for updates. Help us carry on and improve hunting and fishing in Idaho. Buy your license every year.